Okay, so going over the software. Um, first thing to note, I haven't used S60 in a while. Uh, last time I used N73, N81. Um, those phones, I don't know if it was lack of RAM or the processor or whatnot. Uh, Nokia tends to skimp on RAM and, and such on their phones, but this one um, has about, uh, depending what I'm running, between um, you know 40 and and uh, 4950 uh, uh, megs on the phone memory uh, on average is about free. Uh, it uh, doesn't actually, you know, I haven't seen any slowdown. Uh, once again, coming to the transitions part, absolutely no slowdown at all. You know, even with running Fring in the background and running the uh, internet radio or the music player, not a problem. Um, so we can get a closer up screen here. Um, you know, going through the uh, menu system, you can. Uh, uh, the one pet peeve I do have is the Navi wheel. Sometimes it's a little finicky and doesn't want to pick up on your movement, and you know, sometimes it's just a little too sensitive. I wish they had put a little sensitivity, sensitivity, you know, setting in there for it, but. Uh, overall, it's not too hard to get used to. Once again, the big wheel or the big um, D-pad helps with that. Uh, using it in this grid mode is not terribly helpful, uh, but if you're running through a list, um, you know you can you can really run through all the way to the bottom without having to jam up and down too many times. It's, it's pretty useful, and. Uh, the other one annoyance with the Navi wheel is that it's not set up through the entire system. So I can go through here and get to, you know, let's say tools and go down to settings. But once you get deeper into the menu system, uh, it just doesn't work. And of course, it doesn't work on the application. So I don't know if they have to give out the API for the Navi wheel or whatnot. Um, but, you know, applications don't have access to it and the deeper menu systems don't either. Uh, I did notice some slowdown in the graphics department only uh, so far in the uh, this menu system, surprisingly. Uh, the, this phone does not have a uh, graphics accelerator. I suppose the N85, N86 and the other ones do. As you notice, there's just a touch of slowdown and you might not be able to see it, but it takes a, just a microsecond to for the image to pull up and and um, you know anti-alias and and you know to become smooth, but you know so it's a little slow doing this. But I don't know how many people actually use the the view mode. Actually, I I tend to use it. And I, I like it, but definitely going through lists and whatnot, um, it's not a problem. Uh, but that's the only graphic slowdown I've seen. Uh, once again, you know, as far as memory goes, it's pretty solid. Uh, not not a complaint. And this, like I said, this is the haze background, you know, with all sparkly and stuff. Um, and it's in the phone, independent of uh, what you said on the back, uh, as far as the back plate goes. But if you put a back plate on, and I will for now, uh, it'll change uh, the theme. That little pain to take this thing off. And it feels like I'm going to break the phone. But i uh, just got to pop it off like that. And if you can see here, little four pins, and there are four pins over there. And that sort of tells the phone, let me put the, this blue one on, tells the phone which backplate you're using, and then adjust the, the software accordingly. Or the back screen accordingly. Uh, and it's asked me if I want to activate the theme. I set it up. Uh, to do that, you can have it do it automatically, um, but that might get annoying if someone you know switches themes or switches the backplate a lot. And the phone comes with three backplates, but you can buy uh, whichever ones you'd like. I mean, they have an orange one, red one, white one. And as you can see, uh, it matched the light blue with a light blue theme. And these two both get the black theme and. Presumably, of course, uh, the orange and the red will get the red themes and the green theme and whatnot. Uh, the only themes that do come on the phone are the plain colors plus the haze. Um, 
themes are all very easy to see, very easy to use. Um, the one thing I like about this phone, software-wise, is it comes up with everything out of the box. You know, I know iPod users will say, "Oh, I, I got apps for that." You know, I got an app for this. Uh, you can have apps for S60 as well, as you can see. Uh, but this phone literally comes with everything out of the box. Internet radio is there. Email is set up. Um, voice over IP. It comes with gizmo out of the box. So I end up using uh, Google Voice on the phone. I have a bookmark for Google Voice. I dial a call when I'm on the Wi-Fi. Um, I don't have a data plan, so on the Wi-Fi. And from the web page on the phone, it'll dial uh, gizmo, which is on, also on the phone, and I can talk for free. Uh, once again, all this is built in. You know, you don't have to do anything but you know type in your username and password for you know Gizmo, for example. Um, as far as the software goes, let me go to the this and uh, you know the gallery is rather nice. You can you can scroll through it this way too. Uh, very fast. The uh, trans there's a little transparency, so if you have a uh, theme that has something in the background, you'll see it that back there. And quick access to you know whatever your most common functions are. Go to the camera. Uh, once again, it's five megapixel camera. A very nice. Videos are awesome. The photos are even better. Um, you know, I'm used to Nokia, the uh, Nokia phones having a good, good camera function, but not a very good video camera function. And the video camera function on here is perfect. Once again, with both the video camera and the camera, uh, obviously, you know, more light the better. Uh, a short video I recorded outside. Uh, I want to say it's 30 frames per second. Um, very good, very solid camera functions. Uh, let me go back. Indoors, the camera uh, sort of uh, the LEDs help. It's, you know, it's not a xenon flash, but uh, they do help. You know, if you're a little far away from the subject and there's no other lighting, it may come out a little yellow. There's Bill the cat. Um, but you know, if you're up close, it'll be perfectly fine. You know, I don't expect the LED to be all that great indoors. It's not really a camera, and I think the xenon is a little over doing it for a camera phone. I mean, if you really want to take good pictures, you buy a good DSLR or, or digital you know, point and shoot or something like that. Uh, but the camera's macro mode, perfect, um, you know, and really, really beautiful camera. Uh, no complaints about it whatsoever. There's no uh, yellowing or purpling like there was on the N95, I think, in the beginning. Um, you know, you can put tags on them and, and put them in specific albums. Once again, I'm running out of space here, so me end the camera section, if you will, and uh, let me go over the other functions such as internet, radio, music player, and play a little bit for that for you, so you can hear it and um, see how it performs.